Syracuse University here in Syracuse, New York. John Baranowski here with Chris Covert as the Syracuse Orange win the opening faceoff. Quick shot on Faulkner. He puts it behind the net. Picked up quickly and sent back in by Mike Lundberg. Back around to the near boards. Trying to get things going is Losher. And the hops up against the, uh, the door popped open. That's something you don't see every day. To Tyson Geik, the new player for the Mercer's Lakers, wearing number 16. He's a big bruiser. As big hit comes from David Gaines on the near side. I believe that was against Matt Mills. McConney driving around the outside, gets tripped up. Uh, that's a sketchy call at best by Melnick. But uh, he went down, so here's a call. Hooking. You know what, John? If there's one thing that can ruin a hockey game, it's shoddy referee. Lining up ice, number 19, Mike Delane. He passed it up, quick shot, saved by Faulkner. Big rebound. The rebound completely missed by, who is that? That's number 19, mm -hmm. Delane. Boom, boom, Thompson puts it back around. Cody Steele loses the puck. Thompson will keep it in the zone, however. Good shot, breaks the stick of number 24, who is not listed on my roster. But it appears... He's not on their roster either. Wonderful. The penalty kill has been the real weak point of the Lakers this season. Yes, it has. Uh, I don't know how many goals against Robert Morris were on the power play, but it was absolutely pathetic in the stat book, if I dare say. Lakeham, quick shot, pad save for Adam Faulkner. Another quick shot, another pad save right into Alex Lickerot. He tries to chip it back in. Woo! And that almost hit us. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. We almost won a free trip to the dentist there, John. <laughs> After it's David Gaines. Ooh, big hit on by David Gaines on the fall. Quick play behind the net. Cody Steele, quick shot. Save just barely off the shoulder of Mark Liner. Pushing the puck up by is Brian Abbott with a two-on-one. Quick shot, save by Ooh. Faulkner. Pops into big the Big save by Faulkner right Stefanski there. Stefanski driving up. Quick play in front. No one on the doorstep. Melnick picks it back up. Quick shot. Oh, I thought for sure that was going in. And now I don't know why he's not going to instantly let the puck be blown dead. Quick shot, save. A good save by Liner. A great opportunity. Playoff ice chasing it as Blake Camlin trying to get around Lickerot. Oh, he gets a great shot oh. off the post. And a save wow. by Liner. He got lucky there. Wow, Blake Bobby Clark Camlin thought he had one there. He really hasn't scored a beautiful goal ever since uh, when he won it. The game-winning goal in overtime at, at Niagara last season. I know. I remember that game very fondly, though, where we all learned, don't stop believing. Amen to that. Dave Stearns, we missed you. Driving up ice beside of Mandia and Melnick. Thompson right up front. And he shoots and scores. Kevin Melnick puts it home. It's Lakers here. It's Lakers up. One to nothing. Welcome back, sports fans. John Radowski here with Chris Covert. Beginning of the second period, Mercius wins the faceoff and working it way up ice. Cody Steele hands it off to Tyson Geik. No, Cody Steele gets it back. Leaves it for Losher at the blue line. Back to Geik. Back to Geik. <laughs> <laughs> David Gaines had a chance at that betwixt the two. Back to Geik? I was confused a bit myself. <laughs> Driving back up ice, Leone in front of him. He's going to hold on, driving up the middle, takes a shot, save, off the pad and into the glove and held on to by Mark Liner with a very well executed save. Big opportunity right here, Ben Pounds, quick shot, funky bounce, Adam Falker had no idea where it went, thank goodness for the defense. Picked up quickly by John Bach. Bach from behind the net, Losher stops it at the point, puts it back round the horn, bounces off the back of the net, David Gaines chasing to the near corner. Tyson Geik. Pick it up, put it up on the doorstep. Oh, Cody Steele, the second chance, third, fourth, and barely covered up on the blocker. Wow, Mark Line, a great opportunity from a great opportunity by Cody Steele. Oh, it's waved off. Thompson, dangling, goes into Leon, quick shot. He shoots and scores, and the Lakers keep going and going, and eventually Leon puts it in the back of the net. Goaltenders, just an all around different breed. Quick shot on the board. <laughs> and Mike Lundberg hitting to the boards like he forgot his TPS reports. How long have you been waiting to say that? <laughs> All game. We're going to have five on three for 35 seconds now. As John Bach takes the shot, he gets it back at the point. The far side, right to the near side. Quick shot. Mitchell's going to have it caught up in his own player, Dan Folkman. 
So now we have John Bach to the near side, taken by Sean Mitchell. Shot, and he puts it in the back of the net. Takes a glove side high, and that easily, it's two to one. Seems kind of obvious, but it, uh, you never realize just how much yep. it means on the ice. Again, Big John, hit. who'd have thunk it? McConney got laid out, trying to hold on. He's got a lot of action from Jordan Peters right there. Scuffling, scuffling, scuffling. Not quite a brouhaha, but we are going to have a penalty. David Gaines joins the fray, and he hits Ryan Fogg pretty good. 8.6 seconds remain. 8.6 indeed. Get it up here. 2-1 to one the score. Lakers on the power play for a minute 42. John Bernowski here. Chris Cover going to re re be rejoining us in a moment. Ryan Shepard filling in for the meantime. How's it going? Just headed up ice, looking for Chad Thompson. Chad Thompson lost the puck. Waz is going to get it back. Wazalewski chipping it up oh. ice. Oh, big oh, hit Chad. by Chad Thompson on number 22, Brian Abbott. He was going That's northbound to the southbound penalty. lane. We're going to have a penalty and interference on that one. Stops, looks for an open receiver, can't seem to find one. Swirling around trying to find anything. Instead, I think he's just killing time as there's eight seconds remaining on the four on four. And a good shot coming. Faulkner will steer it away. Yeah. Up ice again, number four. Alex Leckerot, good shot. Better save. Another opportunity saved in front. Blake Camlin had that. That would have been a sure goal for Delane. Another big shot. Faulkner steers it aside. 16.35 remaining in the third. <laughs> I'll just sound like a little bit of a uniform nerd here, John, but uh, really liking the unis uh, at Syracuse is sporting this year. Uniform nerd? <laughs> That's me in a nutshell. Huh? So, <laughs> I guess you could call me uni nerd light then. Trying to get there is Leon now. Syracuse, good new sweaters this year. Quick shot, save, it went off the mask, and then a quick shot. Who is that? Who? That was Tyson Geik. He really wound up to try and get that puck off the bounce. Ended up smacking Mark Liner in the mask. Was over the blue line. Still has it from the top of the circle. Drops it back. Scully, big tease it up. Save in the glove by Mark Liner. And that's the first good save Liner's had so far this period. But he hasn't had to make many. Melnick gets it, trying to set up an offense. Leone has it in the corner. Up Stefanski up front. Oh, Stefanski unable to put it on his tape. Mitchell with a full head of steam. Goes to the far side of the ice. Looking in front. Caught up. And somehow Adam Faulkner had it and let it go. I don't know if he wanted to do that, but it sure looked like uh, it was a set play. Coming from the near side. Peters trying to get something going. Leon, good opportunity. No, stop. Sean Mitchell. Boom. Big hit on Sean Mitchell. And Christman's gonna, uh, Christman makes the hit. Faulkner makes the save. And we're going to have a face-off to the stick side of Faulkner. Mm -hmm. Near side. McConney puts it into the zone. Stolen away by Camlin. To the far side for Wazalewski. Picked up by Scully. Scully taking a hit. But holding on, Dan Folkman tried to get there. He's out of the zone by Camlin. He quickly picked up the loose chain. He gets his pocket pick, but Herhall takes the loose puck. And he spins out. Scully, the, <laughs> this is perhaps the most unclean way to get the puck down the ice, but it has been effective. Shot going wide, but still in the zone. And to put out Herhall, big hit. I couldn't even tell who that was. The numbers went to the ice That's so quick. A little bit of assistance from Kenny Hunt over to Thompson. Chad Thompson looking. In front, backhand, shot, well played, rebound coming, shot, and somehow it got away from Liner. Good opportunity there, oh, and Thompson unable to put it home. Money bounces all around, stick lost again by Liner. The puck is taken and thrown, and that will be a penalty. I believe that's either delay a game or a sportsmanlike conduct, I'm not sure. Leone from the top of the circle, driving around the horn. Looking from behind the net, trying to find something in front. Quick shot. He shoots and scores. I think Tyson Geick got his first career goal, and deservedly so. Huh? Great play there. Power play goal. Mm -hmm. well, well done. These, John, these are the Mercyhurst Lakers we know and love. This is true Mercyhurst blue-collar hockey at its finest. 105 remaining on the power play for the Orange as Leone tries to kill time from the corner. Ooh, big hit. They're going to have a boarding call, and that just nullifies anything Syracuse has hoped for thus far. Four on four. Four, 58 seconds. Doesn't look like that's going to be how it goes. Nope. And that's the game. Lakers win it, three to one. Yeah.